This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it really covers you for everything, whether it be a breakdown, um, detention, layover, low miles, whatever it may be. As long as you and John are available for dispatch for the pay week, you will get your guarantee. Now, if you refuse the load, if you're not available, then you're... Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at K.L. Harrington out of Bethel, PA. If you guys is good with the Northeast and good with driving pharmaceutical loads, this is the company for you. But there's a switch. There's a catch. This is a team-eccentric company. So if you don't mind driving teams, this is the company also for you. Now, if you bring your own teammate, that's good. Maybe they can find a team for you, I guess. I don't know. If you guys want to know more about KL Herring, stay tuned. Yeah, um, yeah, that's a little difficult. Now, we're in Pennsylvania. We're in Bethel, Pennsylvania, about an hour north of Harrisburg. And we hire from either state, Georgia or um, Ohio, but um, we could only get you to home to one of the locations as a team. So just something to think about if you would, you know, decide you're interested, you would both need to bring a car here and then just drive home all right that shouldn't be too much of a uh of a prop of a problem okay. all right Go so ahead. so Good. K, okay. what what is it kate how you pronounce it k l harrington or k air harrington herring yeah, herring Herring. okay herring. okay herring. yeah I, <laughs> yeah i haven't heard of this uh uh company before that's why i'm having a hard time pronouncing the yeah. name i'm sorry okay so no that's right no it's a small company Mm -hmm. So what will be, um, as far as team goes, what will be our, our responsibilities as a driver there? Well, as, as far as, I'm sorry, I'm not sure I understand your question, Sean. Like, uh, will we be, will we be pulling drive in, uh, reefer? Oh, mm -hmm. mostly reefer. Uh, actually what we haul is pharmaceuticals. So that's why I'd asked about hazmat. It, it's not a requirement because it's not um, true hazmat. It, it's not something you have to placard, but there is a lot of security involved with it. So our customers like our drivers to have that endorsement. So we do offer incentives, um, but again, not needed to just come on with us. But it is um, high security, mostly refer, no touch freight. And the way the pay is set up is on a guarantee. Um, it's really based off of you and John being available for dispatch for the pay week. So as long as you are available between Sunday and Saturday, that's how our pay week falls, any miles um, between zero and 5,500 you would be paid $2,050 each driver. So 5,500 miles and below. Um, if you exceed 5,500 miles, now it happens here and there. It, it won't happen all the time. Um, but when it does, you would be paid your guarantee plus any miles over the 5,500 would be paid out at 68 cents per mile. Okay, so let me make sure I understand this. So you saying this is a guarantee pay based on availability. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. me and my partner, we will have to be available like what, 24 hours a day or something like that? Like if we are available during the day part and let's say we didn't get no loads or no calls or anything and let's just say up all of, out of the blue, Y'all give us a load at one o'clock in the morning. We will have to be available for that. Yeah. I, I mean, this runs as a team. So there's a day driver and a night driver. Right. But I'm 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 kind of, you know, trying to visualize this in my head as far as the availability goes. Like 
if we're both, you know, available during the day and we haven't, you know, we've been, we, we've been up all day. We, we've we been up all day because it's kind of hard to, you know, try to get some sleep if you're already well rested. So that's why I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, no, so. that, you can't do it that way. Yeah. Oh. Have you ever teamed before? Availability, uh, zero to 5,500 miles, we would get 2,000. We would get 2,000 and some change, both drivers. Yeah, 2,050 each. Mm -hmm. Now, it is W-2, so of course, that would be the gross pay. Um, and then if John would, you know, if he would have his hazmat, if he would come on and then add it, the guarantee then goes to 2,100 um, each driver per week. The rate per mile goes up to 70 cents. And with hazmat, you're eligible for bonuses. Let me ask you this. Uh, how much experience do you guys require all together? A minimum of two years. Other than other than the U.S. lanes, do you guys run Canada? Do do y'all have any pharmaceuticals? No. Pharmaceuticals that go up there? No. Okay. okay. No, no. We run mainly east of the Mississippi. There are some exceptions, but... Um, I, I just want to mention too, kind of circling back to the availability, the, the home time for our team, Sean, it's four to five weeks out, and then you can take one week home. So you guys looking for drivers okay. that's available for about a month, uh, a month or more? Right, right. Are you currently driving? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Um, Oh, okay. Pre pre employment screening, uh, hair follicles, or urine, or both. Um, it it would be a urine test. Um. All right. So you already mentioned about the mileage pay, but it is guaranteed for uh for both of us. Um, mm -hmm. even would it still be guaranteed? Even if we don't get no lows, say like we let's say like we didn't get mm -hmm. a load on Monday and we got a load on Tuesday, we accept that. We didn't get a load on Wednesday, but we get a load on Thursday, we accept that. Will we still get the guarantee pay? Oh yeah, yeah. It it really covers you for everything, whether it be a breakdown, um, detention, layover, low miles, whatever it may be. As long as you and John are available for dispatch for the pay week, you will get your guarantee. Now, if you refuse a load, if you're not available, then you're not under the guarantee for the week, and then you're paid your mileage rate, which is 68 cents per mile, you know, for whatever uh, miles you did run. Awesome. Okay. Um, yep. what, about, mm -hmm. what about the equipment we'll be driving, and what are they governing that? Uh, they're Kenworth. T680s, they're automatics. They have APUs, inverters, refrigerators in them, and they're governed at 65 on the pedal and 69 on cruise. Awesome. Okay. Driver cameras? Um, no, just the dash cam facing out. Have you ever hauled high value loads before? I'm well aware of uh, the security when it comes to uh, high value loads. Um, and I hauled uh, pharmaceuticals before. Oh, good, good. Um, it might be similar. I don't know which company you were with at the time, but um, did they have like no stopping for so many miles and um, yeah, routing? We, yeah, Is we would have to drive. Yeah, I would have to drive at least. Oh my God! I, 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 I man, you making me go and go back in the memory. Uh, we would have to drive at least like at least two, maybe maybe about three hundred miles before we even come to our first stop. So they will require us okay. to have you know the the fuel, have a mm -hmm. fueled up truck and everything. They have us to sign. Well, they will have me to sign some uh, security papers. They will put trackers inside of the trailer. They will also have me to download one of the tracking apps on my phone 
so yeah, I'm very, mm -hmm. very familiar with the with the security behind, uh, especially pharmaceuticals. Okay. Average miles, fourteen drivers. We can average about fifty five hundred miles. Um, we already went over home time. Can we bring a Can we bring a pet or or a rider with us or no? I'm assuming no. Well, what type of a pet do you have? Uh, well, I have a cat. Okay, that, that's something safety can look at for you. Um, it, it may not be a problem. I know they ask, um, you know, how big the animal is or whatnot. <laughs> uh, and as long as it's accustomed to being in a truck, that's not a problem. We're, we're typically pet friendly. Awesome. Um, all right. So I did ask you about the, uh, the, the drug tests and everything, but do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. Okay. All right. Um, and is there Are you a under no, the SAP program? No, no, no. I, I was just asking the general question. That's all. <laughs> like I said, we I, I was referred from you know one of the drivers in the in the Facebook group, and you know we was talking about companies that we was interested in, and your like I said, mm -hmm. your your company came a topic of discussion. So. Um, oh, okay, but John, neither you no, or John no, are no, in the neither, program. No, no, neither. No, oh. no, no, <laughs> no. We're both okay. clean. We don't. We won't have a problem. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, sign on bonus, if any. Um, no, we do not have a sign on bonus. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I, I, I think that's that that about covers it. Um, but I do, I definitely do appreciate the time. Um, I'm curious to know okay. if we both decide to pull the trigger on this. What would you like for me to do? Just give you a call back, or is there an Atelier link on the? on the website. Just a few other things I do want to mention to you. Um, the home time, like I said, with you in different states, it's a little complicated, but if you can both bring a car here, that would eliminate any any issues with that. And we always suggest our drivers to bring a car uh, regardless, because the way that you'll run, normally your um, reset is done at the terminal, the 34-hour reset. Now, we have facilities. There's showers, uh, washer dryers, there's a kitchenette, there is a lounge. So, of course, you can, you know, definitely stay in the truck and just be at the terminal. However, where we're located in Bethel, um, I don't know if you've ever been in that area, but yeah, it I've is been up there. Uh, more of a... Not, not, yeah, okay. not, not a, a fan of, uh, not a fan of the Northeast at all, but I, let me ask no. you this, since you... <laughs> Since you kind of brought that up, being that you up in uh, PA, would some of our, would we be um uh what do you call it force dispatch to go up into the far northeast like New York, can, um Boston area, all that little corner of the world no. right there? Will we be forced to go up in there? No, we don't have any freight that goes up into the New England states. Now, New York could happen at some point. It wouldn't be anything that would be regular for you. We don't have any set lanes in that area. Um, definitely not in the New England states, at, at least as of this point, Sean. As you know, things could always change. But uh, as of right now, it it is more um, east of the Mississippi. Uh, there's a few, like I said, exceptions. Nevada, uh, the occasional California load. But um, and we do a lot of Texas too. But the Northwest and the New England states are not currently running. All right, my last question, and then I'll let you go. And thank you very much for the time. Uh, you mentioned the fact that you know you you want us to bring the car, so we're not able to uh, take the trucks home. Typically, yes, all of our teams take their trucks home, but the, the difference is they live at the same place. You know what I mean? Like if you were both going to Ohio or both going to um, Georgia, that would be no problem. But being one has to go here and one has to go there, that, that's the only issue. If we're out for that amount of time, then we would get that like week off. But as far as the reset goes, it's only four to 34 mm -hmm. Hours and not not and not a two full days. It varies. 
but normally it would be just your 34 hour reset. And here, that's what I wanted to tell you where we're at in Bethel is um, out of the way, more of a country setting. So having a car here um, would be needed really in any event, because you, you'd be stranded at the terminal. So we always tell our teams to bring a car that they can leave here so they have a way to get around Pennsylvania when they're back. And as far as the pay goes, just a few other things with that. We do pay weekly, every Friday, direct deposit. And we have all the benefits. Um, the medical starts the first of the month following your first 60 days. And we use Highmark, Blue Cross Blue Shield. And as far as um, the per diem, our teams, they split 18 cents a mile, Sean. So nine cents a mile each driver. And that will help you on your taxes. You know, keep in mind we're W-2, but that is, uh, it's a nice benefit because however many miles you run, say you run 5,000 miles this week, you times that by nine cents, and that is how much of your gross pay is not taxed for the week. So it's your weekly mileage times nine cents, and that is your per diem. And that money will not even show on your W-2. Um, and as, as far as the freight, I'm, tr- I'm sorry, I'm just trying to cram this in before you talk to John so you guys have a, a good idea of what we're doing. Um, We normally haul pharmaceuticals out of Pennsylvania. Keep in mind, though, your backhauls. Um, That's usually general freight, broker freight. So you will not constantly be running under those high-value loads, only about half. Very good, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome, Sean. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. K.L. Herring out of... Pennsylvania, everybody. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, man. I mean, interesting conversation on this particular company. Uh, Let's start off by saying the obvious. Um, Guarantee pay for teams, meaning that you have to be available period if you're not available in the morning you got to be available in the evening you got to be available at night when that call comes through you cannot say i mean refuse to call if you want to get that guarantee pay and that guarantee pay is 2050 for both drivers now, if you guys decided that that one load that y'all don't want, y'all refuse it or y'all not available, then it goes down to around a high 60 cent per mile for both drivers. This is a team drive company. They're looking for teams. They're looking for good teams. Now, what I should have asked was if i was coming in there and could they pick a driver for me uh it's possible especially if they're running if they're team if they're team centric company it is possible that they can find a team driver for you um it's preferably if you should get a team driver that's pretty much stay in the same area as you um as you guys heard in the conversation you know john stay down in georgia and i stay up in ohio which will probably make it kind of difficult for home time for the both of us uh we are able to keep the truck though but they said they would like for you to leave your car at the uh terminal they want you to stay out for about a month at least, and you'll get about a week off. Uh, you do have 34, rolling 34, especially if you're a team driver. Uh, so what do you guys what do you guys think so far? What do you guys think so far? 
Uh, if you get anywhere between uh, zero to 5,500 miles, you'll get some added bonus. You get paid weekly. Uh, pets are welcome, depending on what type of pet it is. Uh, again, you get benefits. The medical starts at day one. So if you're if you're a team driver looking for a company to go to, then KL Harrington will probably be the one for you. Of course, as always, the information will be in the description below. Um, let's go to some of the reviews, man, because I, I was very interested in the seeing what some of the people had to say about this company. This one review says just join this wonderful family friendly company and cannot say enough good things about them switching trucking companies can be hard and stressful of course but the whole kl harrington team made the process great all right another re uh another reviewer says that top notch for top notch team six years plus in and no end in the future great equipment makes it easy to balance work and home life and this one right here says great place to work for team drivers stress-free environment friendly atmosphere and the owners are wonderful but but you can't always have good reviews without a couple of bad ones. And I found this one, this couple of reviewers says, this one says, don't get lied to or played on words by this company. Company controls every move. They looking for desperate drivers who never have a good paying job or messed up records if you like being told when and where to stop it's a minimum of four to four and a half hours on all loads to stop no exceptions is for security hauling now let me stop let me stop the show right there um considering the freight that they are hauling I would have I would imagine that you know a little bit of tightness will be bestowed upon you because you're moving high value loads such as pharmaceuticals and pharmaceuticals is kind of you know a, a security issue so they are gonna definitely want to know where you park they're gonna definitely wanna know how long you park. And they gonna and you're gonna need to drive at least about two, maybe three hours before you even uh make your first stop. When you come to uh security loads like that, they prefer you to have a full tank of fuel when you get there. Because like I said, when you leave from there, they don't want you to stop for the first couple of hours anyway. So keep that in mind when you read some of these uh, comments from uh, drivers that have bad things to say. This one right here says, you will be micromanaged from the time you leave the yard until the last load you're on. You will be told when and where to stop with no exceptions. If you don't know what a good job is, you will stay. The drivers that came from companies that are paid low wages and no freight. I know five teams who quit within a month back to back between April and May. To me, that speaks volume. They all came from good jobs that closed or sold, and they wanted to get back on the team. They said you may like being told when and where to pee, take breaks, and eat. I don't. That's not trucking. 
That's slavery. Department of Defense freight is not even that damn strict. Or micromanaged for that matter. So, again, you know, you got to take into account of what kind of freight that you're that you're taking when you're deciding to, you know, if you want to go with this company or not. So if you're cool with taking high value security freight such as pharmaceuticals, just know that the leash is going to be a little bit tighter around your neck than normal. All right, so drivers, if you drove for this company or if you drive for this company, you like to let the, let the people know of your experience, let them know in the comments below. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?